Gorilla, Chef Perry, and uh, welcome to the Gorilla Cooking Show. Today I'm going to make a little uh, appetizer, so if you got friends or family coming over, or you just want a little snack, something relatively healthy, uh, that you can put out there, it's simple, it's easy to make, not that many ingredients, it's basically olives. So I'm going to do a uh, clamato of uh, olive, uh, I'm going to do like an olive tapenade, tapenade it's called, tapenade. And again, simple to make. So we're going to use our little ninja for this job. Put our ingredients in here. So I got my amount of olives, three quarters of a cup. Make sure the olives are fitted, otherwise you're going to break the teeth. You don't want that, that. So half a cup of my green olives. I have a tablespoon of capers, two cloves of garlic that I chopped up, and about a quarter teaspoon of oregano. Put all that in there. And I'll put all the ingredients listed in the long stuff. I can take them. Go and print them off at the, uh, what, my website there, my food bubble. And uh, hit subscribe and like. And if you have any questions, definitely ask me whatever you want. I am here. So capers are very important, don't skip out on that. You can even get these at the dollar store, they're cheap. Uh, but it gives it that nice salty brine to it. Okay, so I'm gonna go with two tablespoons of olive oil. That's right, my black. A little up And then, use the lemon juice. I don't have any lemon. Yeah. Loads of lime here somewhere. But I also have uh, this lime, so I'm going to use two tablespoons of lime. It's a nice little, uh, cuts it up a little bit, that salt is some trick. Put that in there. Okay. And I'm just going to do really neat salt, so this is optional if you want, because uh, the capers actually have a lot of uh, saltiness to them, but I can put a little, just a pinch of the sea salt in there. Flavors. Fresh cracked black pepper. Don't use the instant pepper, the uh, fine brown one, do the cracked pepper. About a quarter teaspoon. And then, most important, do a little lip. Oh, yeah. Gotta have your love. Okay, put this on. And we're not gonna puree it, we're just gonna pulse it. Um, get it broken up almost like a paste, but not quite. So let's just give this a little pulse a few times, see what happens. We'll just work with it from there. Now you're gonna have to do this a few times because everything sort of sticks to the sides. I'll not push it in there. One more little shake and shimmy. Okay. Let's just give it a quick taste test. Make sure we get enough of everything we need in there. As you can see, it's crushed up. It's not uh, not tasty or nothing, but I like that. I like that. Okay, give me a minute. I'll come back. I'll plate it. Do a taste test. One five gorillas. One bean. Two five bean. And uh, we'll go from there. All right. Back in a minute. Hello, gorillas. I am back. We got it plated and ready to go. So this is again, this is a great appetizer. You can see it takes no time to make. Your ingredients, um, you know, you can use substitute, uh, you put black olives and green olives, whatever type you want. Uh, but I like this combination here a little bit. Got a little bit of melted toast and breadsticks. Again, good for a nice little appetizer friend, family coming over, or watching a movie or something, you know, something to snack on. It's healthy for you, it's good for you. So let's give it a shot. Here we go. With the bread, stick with the milk, with the milk. 
And you can see I make mine a little chunky so I don't puree it like that. You can buy this in a store already made. A lot more preservatives and stuff in there. Um, you know, they're sitting in gels for a long time and stuff. And they're more of a puree, um, almost like a pate really. So um, I kind of like this how I do my guacamole, a little bit chunky. Um, some smooth texture to it, but a little bit chunky. So, so here we go. Here. from the capers, just a little bit of the lime juice, um, just the combination of the two, two uh, all types of olives in there together, it's just a great, great combination. Kind of, I, don't know, I don't want to say earthy, but not really, it's just, um, it's olives and it's just, it's moist, uh, it's got a little bit of a chew to it, not much. Um, Boy, boy, that's that's really good. That's that's you know while you're trying to not put that. So again, try to make it fresh if you can instead of sore about stuff because uh, makes a huge difference. So yeah, well, hope you give it a shot. If you like it, subscribe. Hit a like, like, comment. Everything helps. And um, but I'll see you again, or when I do see you again, and stay much love and be kind. Right soon. Oh, by the way, five out of five, really, baby. See you next time.